My name is Shane Coleman. I'm the heavy duty specialist for Jordan. Uh, this is the first of three talks that I'm going to do on the, uh, the unit standing behind me here. Uh, Mike and I throughout the weekend here are going to spend time talking about various products that uh, Jordan brings to the industry. So this morning's talk kicking things off. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, 10 specific features to Jordan's rotator line that makes us uh, unique and different in performance. So before I get too deep in that, what I'd like to say is uh, we build it on communication. So <laughs> being from the industry, one of the things that uh, we used to do in our, in our company is that we worked off the 10 codes. Anybody here used to the, knows what the 10 codes are? So when someone gives you direction or ask a request, you respond by saying 10-4. So with that, uh, we're going to cover the 10 side of hearing what you, what you called out for. First and foremost in the platform is that we're going to talk about a torsion frame design. So unique to Jirdan is the torsion frame tied in with the scissor style outriggers. So what that does is that takes the platform and builds the stability around the turret. Okay. So with the torsion frame, what that does is that adds 10 million RBMs to the unit itself. So you're not relying on the chassis integrity, you're putting it all into the platform on its own. Okay. Now, with that scissor style outrigger system, we've got two platforms that are designed into the unit. One is a stabilizing platform like you see on this side. The other is going to be an anchoring or a spading option like you'll see on the opposite side of the truck. So when we get done here, I invite you to walk around and take a look at that and you'll get to see what that's for. Now first, I'd like to talk about the stabilizing side. The stabilizing platform rotators were typically designed to lift and move whatever objects you needed to. So the challenge is with traditional outriggers is to be able to level the unit on uneven terrain. So at any given time, this unit is going to be in different situations where you need to level the unit. With this torsion frame scissor style platform, you can level the unit on, up, on grades up to 7 degrees. So on the 7 degree pitch, you can level this unit and still do what the load chart calls for. The other side to that is that you'll notice on the undercarriage here is that the scissor style outriggers also allow you to set the platform over that uneven terrain. So there is no, there's no extensive need for a cribbing. Now, obviously, when we get into soft terrain, you do have to have load distribution pads, but you're not required to crib in order to get the performance of the truck. Now, the second side to that is the spading option like you see on the opposite side. The spading option allows 15 inches of, of the ground penetration so you can anchor this because a rotator, as much as we'd like to think we can pick and swing everything, sometimes you have to do that side winching in order to bring the load to you. The additional benefit to the spade option is that rotators also, because of their size, will have to do angular pulls off the tailboard. So instead of having to put all that load on drive axles or just the rear spade, you now have a spading option and all of those loads get driven into the platform and into that torsion frame system. So what does that mean? That means that you're extending the life of the rotator by making the platform do the work instead of to putting it on the chassis. Now the next step to that is that we have six points of contact on this platform. One of the challenges with the traditional side is that the outriggers are expansive and they, they don't allow to work in close quarters as well as occupying more traffic lanes. So by going to a six point scissor style platform, we now can have a close quarters platform that allows you to set up not only in tight areas, but also not occupy the traffic lanes so traffic can continue, can continue moving. What you'll see is the, the outrigger system here is tied into that torsion frame with the spades on the rear. Those spades are tied into that frame so this platform actually is distributing the load on those six points as opposed to traditional style where there's only four. So you get more displacement by having that laid out on a six point platform. Now combine that with, with the boom length the recovery boom length on these units, like you'll see here, we've got them set at different positions, is that there's 41 feet of boom length in the unit with a 60 degree elevation capability. So like you see on the red unit behind this one, it's fully elevated. You'll see that the working height from the ground to the hooks is 42 feet. So you have over 42 feet of lifting height. What does that mean? That means that you can get this unit up closer to the load and reach out and reach the load once you get there. So bring that into the platform having 
the capabilities of anchoring as well as stabilizing. Now we're going to take it into the areas where we focus and later on I'll be talking about this is we're going to talk about the body that we've designed for uh, rigging management. That will be in, our, in the second talk on the next series. When we combine the platform into that close quarters thinking, now you have a unit that you can deploy. It doesn't matter whether it's in the country or in the city. You can take it into that region, level it, and put it to work. Now, the next, the next development to the platform and to the unit is not these trucks don't always tow. Or, I'm sorry, excuse me, let me back that up. They don't always do the recovery and lift and swing. These units are usually towing as well. So what's tied into the unit is that we have a two position lockout for the recovery boom. So this boom can be swung to the front to open the cavity over the top of this for doing aerial ladder trucks, work over rigs, anything with a long overhang out the front. Additionally to that with the platform is that we have four underlift options. So as you look at the rotator and say, well, do I have to buy something with that underlift and, and how that's configured? No. We can sit down with you, our sales team can sit down with you and work out what exactly your, your book of business is and build that unit based on what you intend to do with it. So with those options on the underlift, we have four underlift options. We have a three and five winch option on the recovery side, as well as tying in two different body options for the unit. So, Mike, are we doing good for time? You're doing real good. All right. Uh, explain to them that this unit right here has five winches. The five winches. So, th thanks, Mike. Three years ago, when we unveiled this unit, it was a three winch option. And the request was is that it, there's times that they want to be able to use four winches in order to, one, create, grab the object at four corners, or two, be able to have a controlled roll, whether you're off the side or off the rear. So with that request, bringing that back, we came to this show showing all units that we have a five winch option as well. So you have that choice, so you can increase that level of performance on the unit. All of our winches on this is a 50 ton VP two speed winch. So you're looking at uh, the main boom winches are 50,000 pound, two speed planetary. You're looking at uh, the 20,000 pound Okay, 20,000 pound planetary winches, as well as a 35 planetary winch that's on the, on the drag winch for the underlift. So, thanks. All, all operated remote control. Yep, yep, so thanks, that's a good point. So, on the underlift controls, you have an independent remote that you can use while in the cab or out if you're working the casualty, as well as cordless proportional remotes for operating the entire mechanism. So every function, with the exception of the platform, can be worked remote control for distances up to 200 feet. Talking to, well, talking to you business owners and operators, one of the issues that came up was on the traditional platforms, those longer outriggers were not only occupying more space and difficult to set up to get the, the load chart performance, but it was also eating up the work area. So when the, out, when the outrigger comes out farther, the boom has to come out farther. So driving the performance back into the torsion platform with six points of contact, you now have more workspace to work with. So bringing the tractor trailer in to set that load on the trailer, the, the boom doesn't have to go out as far, as well as you can, you're not occupying as much space. So from the edge of the outrigger to the center of the hooks, you have 34 feet of usable workspace in order to handle those incidents, whether it's off the road or on the road.